Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As I showed in a few of my previous videos, I like to use a Mac. Uh, one of the reasons I like to use a Mac is for the great trackpads that they do. So the laptops come with a brilliant one built in, and you can buy this external one here. This is the older Magic trackpad, and I know there's a newer one which I haven't invested in because I still love this one. Um, and one of the reasons I love it is because of the gestures you can do. So I'm going to talk about an app that lets you customize the gestures, which I think is invaluable. It's called Better Touch Tool. Um, this is one of my favorite apps. It's well worth paying for. And uh, this is the website here. So it's folivora.ai. Um, so you can see here it's for the MacBook trackpads or Magic trackpads 1 and 2. You can also do stuff on the mouse, touch bar customization. And they've even added in stuff for the Siri and Apple remote. Um, you can do any gestures you want basically. And that includes using up to five fingers, well, four fingers and a thumb. And you can see, like, you get normally on the Mac, you can do a couple of scrolling actions, you can go back and forth on browser to browser. But really, what this lets you do is you can customize whatever gesture you want. So, let's have a look. So, if we go into applications and let's look for a better touch tool, there it is. So, you can see here that this is the menu you agree with. Um, you get your global thing, so that applies to anything on the Mac. And what I like is you can set different gestures for each app. So, you can see I've got one set for Finder. Google Chrome, Safari, and VLC. Um, the main thing that I use it for really is for Chrome. So you can see I've got three gestures set up here. I've got a three finger tap that does a command and click on the keyboard. Uh, three finger swipe right. So if you go into Chrome, you go to Window, you can see you've got options here for select next tab and select previous tab. And it's got a keyboard shortcut. And you can see I've mapped this to the three finger swipe right and the three finger swipe left. So let's show you those in action. So let's go to uh, BBC Sport, so there's a good one to show. So my three finger tap, that opens a new tab. I wanna click on the link. So let's open a few of those. And then what you can see, if I do my swipes, I can swipe in between the tabs, which means makes it very, very easy to browse. Um, and that's really the main gesture. Now you might not think it's that useful of a feature, but it makes it so much quicker when you've got multiple tabs open and you can just flick through at ease rather than having to go up and that or if you, you don't have to have your fingers on the keyboard you don't have to remember the shortcut you just know swiping between them swipes between the tabs and then the other gestures i have let's go back to the app but similar ones in safari the gestures are slightly different it activates a different shortcut uh, vlc i have a three finger tap to do the space bar so that basically just pauses the video that you're watching. And then another use set of useful ones I have is for the global stuff. So you can see I've got three finger swipe down. That opens the launch pad. So that shows me all my apps quite quickly. Three finger swipe up. That opens mission control. So as you can see all my open apps. I've also got four finger swipe up for that just so you don't get mixed up. What I'll show you now is adding a new gesture. So let's say we want to add one to global. We'll go to add new gesture. And if you look at this, you've got you've got single finger gestures, you've got two fingers, you got three, four, five and more even. You can customize them, so custom tap sequence. Um, if you've got a newer one, so the Magic Trackpad 2 or some of the newer MacBooks, you can do a force click and you can have that set to different things as well. Let's try adding a new gesture. So let's click add and let's go for a three finger one. And we'll go three finger double tap because that's not one that I'm currently using. So you can do a custom keyboard shortcut and you've got some modifiers there, so you can put shift, function, control, the option button, command, whatever you want. Or you can go straight for a predefined action. So this is quite handy because you might not know what you want it to do. Um, so let's see if there's a good one here. We can have it, okay, so we can have it do a screenshot. So that might be actually quite useful. So let's give that a go. Okay, you can see it's brought up my little screenshot tool. And, and I'll just make a screenshot. And it's giving me the option to edit it as well, which is I didn't know you could do. Um, so you've got save, save as, upload. So that's actually a pretty useful feature. But yeah, so that's it for this one. Um, like I said, it's an essential app. I've been using it for about five years now. And the developer's always updating it with new features. Some that I didn't even know about. And I'm sure there's more that I'll find out about. If you know of any that are quite cool, let me know in the comments. If you know of a similar app for Windows actually as well, that'd be interesting to know. And I've got a preset in here that's got all of my gestures saved, so I'll share that as well. If anyone wants to get started and use the ones that I've done, they can go ahead and do that. So yeah, uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more.